This is a sofa. This sofa has six fabric pillows. Look how white they are. You mean, how colorful and vibrant they are. Don't you? Hey, look. The sun is rising in the south. Let's hope it does not catch fire. The dance floor is now open on the middle cushion. I wish they would play more Charleston these days. I find dance music today. Shut up. It's the news. For a number of years now, work has been proceeding in order to bring perfection to the crudely conceived idea of a control system that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is the turbo encabulator. Now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with the panometric fan. The latter consisted simply of six hydrocoptic Marsla vanes, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar waneshaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The alternated visual source generator is adaptive for experiencing from both right and left no matter where the directive operator is situated. The main winding was of the normal Lotus O delta type placed in panendermic semi-beloid slots of the stator, every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the grammeters. The turbo encabulator has now reached a high level of development, and it's being successfully used in the operation of Novert Runyons. Moreover, whenever a fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm, to reduce sinusoidal replenaration. I think they got me.